Today on Fresh Happenings, do you know your mating calls? Yeah. You sure? So if you don't know us, we're Adam and Chris, and this is Fresh Happenings. Or Chris and Adam, you might like it that way. Today, we're going to be finding out how well we know what noises animals make during lovemaking. I think you have a distinct advantage in this because you are all up in that David Attenborough. Yeah, I've missed the planet yeah. Earths, I've missed the hunts, I've, min I've missed the, uh, what's the winter one? Uh, I don't know, I missed that one too. David Attenborough on ice. I just don't know about animals. I'm not really into my science. I'm not really into my animals. So, and you know what? I'm not also not really into my mating calls either. I think I'm gonna get this. I've got a sneaky suspicion I will at least be close on the majority of them. If I get it, it'll be from shooting in the dark. First of all, we're gonna to listen to a mating call. Then we're gonna have a quick discussion over what we think it is without actually saying what we think it is. So we don't nick each other's ideas. We're gonna go one, two, three. Then to make sure we don't copy each other's ideas, we're gonna say the animal at exactly the same time. The same time. So we get three points for getting it bang on. I'm gonna get one of them at least. Whoever's closest, we've got an adjudicator will pick who is closest and they get one Look, point. That's the rules. Pause the video. There. Boom. We're done. Okay, here we go. As you can see, the art of... Uh... Wrong way around. No. Yeah. No. There we go. Oh. That's right. Number one. This is, this is the first. So we're going to listen to this first, then we're going to do our rock, Discussion. paper, scissors. No, we're going to oh, discuss, we're gonna discuss it. it. Are you okay? Just don't say what it is. Full blast this. Oh, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of sounds going on there's, in there's that There's like one. a tweet and then... <laughs> and it looks like... It sounds a... like a beard and then there's like a... <laughs> 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 I'm guessing it's that that we're guessing. <laughs> 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 I don't know if we want to hear less sexy, but that is definitely a very unsexy mating call. I'm not into that. <laughs> That's so guttural. That is a guttural sound. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's still going. There's, there's, there's people around this. Yeah. There's people watching no, this. That's something to bear in mind when you get an answer. It's is something they, you can is the get animal, are the animals doing it at the same time? And there are, are there people watching this? It sounds in pain. Yeah. This is definitely a big animal. Uh, I think I've got it. So key things that we got from that is there are humans around it. So it must be something that a human can at least get yeah. near. So yeah. did you think that this is definitely land-based, isn't it? There's birds in the background, so yeah. I'm, I'm getting I'm gonna go for land based. It's not deep out at sea. Above the equator or below the equator? Below the equator. I feel it's it? below the equator. As I'm well. trying to work out it's not a <laughs> it doesn't sound like a European language the guys are chanting in the background. No. Um, yeah. Uh, are we ready to one, two, three? And then give our answers. Yes. We're gonna Huey Dewey Louie it. Yeah. Okay. Huey, Huey Dewey, Dewey Louie Hippo! Hippo. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I can't believe it. <laughs> there we go. First guess. I thought we'd never get the same one. What if we get First every time. one the same? <laughs> what's, the, what's the results? That is a camel. What? <laughs> Oh. I can I can get the um, chanting in the background. We did say it wasn't European. <laughs> a camel is still a hefty beast, so yeah. we're on the right lines. Mm -hmm. We went mammal. We didn't get completely the wrong. What do you call the difference between mammal, bird? Is it a different species? No, species individual. I don't know. Whack it in the comments. Birds are you... a mammal, are they? Wait, right, it's number two. I think this is number two. Oh, that's unpleasant. Oh, it's like <laughs> nails on a chalkboard. It sounds like it's struggling to squeeze out a poo. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> Are we sure this is even an animal? <laughs> Are we sure it's not in pain? I feel quite guilty listening to it. Wow. This thing is horny. Oh. <laughs> it sounds... 
think it's one thing and I think it's another. Yeah, I've gone from one to the other. So, has your animal you're going for got bigger or smaller? It... My original I thought, it's got smaller. Yeah, I'm yeah. something smaller than what I originally thought. Yeah. God, I need some time to think about this. Um, we gonna listen to it again? Yeah, I just wanna yeah. listen to it again. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, this is so unpleasant. <laughs> I think I've got, I think I'm gonna, I've got my punt. Have you, have you got it? Got I've, I've got a punt right, as well. Let's go, okay. ready? Huey, Dewey, Louie, Baboon! Hyena. What was it, us? Hyena. Oh, Baboon. Okay, well, what was that one then, Jeff? That was an elk. An elk? Oh, so <laughs> over the bottom, we've got <laughs> elk. Well, technically, we've been... When, no, well, the Ajita has got a difficult job now. She has to pick what is more similar to an elk. Yeah, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's gotta be. We can go on geography. Aren't they both from Africa, baboons and hyenas? Let's find out. Yeah, baboons are from Africa and the hyenas are from, are from Africa. Africa. Hyenas bigger. I feel like a hyena is closer. I think hyena is closer, but I am biased. <sighs> I think I'm getting the point here, mate. Well, I can't really argue the full leg thing. I'm just tr struggling to think of where you can match a baboon with it. No. All right, I concede. You can you can have the point. There. Yeah. We, I, I thought we, for some reason I had it in my head that we got the first question right, but we didn't, did we? That was it. No, but we're both equally as close. Yeah. So we shouldn't have had any points for that. Yeah. So you you've got one point. Haven't you? You've got none. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I want to be silent for this one. I need to concentrate. I need to get into the animal. <laughs> All right. I need to be inside <laughs> the animal. <laughs> it's like it's going like hey, 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 <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> it's almost like a donkey. <laughs> yeah. <I'm sorry. laughs> right. Brief discussion before now. The, the water is. And my initial idea is quite a small animal, but it gets quite a baritone. Yeah, sort of tone to it. So I'm going bigger. I've got a feeling we might guess the same thing again. Uh, so I'm going to go a bit more. I'm going to curveball it a little bit to deliberately avoid that. Um, okay. Are we ready to Huey Dewey Louie it? Yeah. Ready? Huey Dewey Louie Pelicans! Oh! <laughs> wow! Yeah. It just sounded like it had like the throat of a beard, you it's know, when they're making those honking noises, and like, hang, hang, hang. The obvious, you, you mentioned donkey. The only natural thing it could be then is what's a cross between a walrus and a donkey. A walrus, a donkey, yeah. and a horse. A pelican. A pelican? A pel donkey. A plonky. A plonky. Plonky. There um, There's our answer. So, what is it and who's closer? It's a penguin. I was oh, going to say penguin, but easiest. I was like, that's way too oh, right. obvious. He's got the right that was my first choice, species. but I was like, you know what, I'll throw it off and I'll go pelican. I can't believe it was... I told you it was a beer. You can hear it. Yeah, you're definitely getting the point now. Damn but right. This is close. So we're at 1-1. One, one. So this is number four. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, that is so bad, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> it's that is. Are you sure that's an animal? That sounds like something taken the mech. Is that not something from the minion? <laughs> yeah. Go for that again. <laughs> Bear. <laughs> Bear. It takes a big gasp in it. It's trying really hard to get that pathetic sound out. This is probably, out of all of them, the most sexual. <laughs> he's enjoying himself before he's even got to the mate. It's really <laughs> disturbing. It's, him or it's really a, disturbing. Again, this having one. a cracking time. It's really disturbing. I felt that that was a little critter. 
That is definitely a critter, but I'm not going for a little critter. <laughs> critter. I'm going for a big critter. It's critter like a family of animals, like mollusks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> going for critters. Yeah, I'm going for something quite big. I, I think it's a pathetic sound coming out of something quite large. Do you? Yeah, I'm going to go on a curveball. Okay. Ready? Huey, Dewey, Dewey Louie, Otter. Panda. Panda's Justin. like, that's like a rare mating call, isn't it? Yeah, I know, that's why I thought that could be the noise to make him join Arthur. They're both cute, so it makes it equally difficult. I, I went think. for the friendly eye. It just sounded like he's going, burp, burp. If you can imagine an eye having sex. I know, they, I've seen the panda sneeze video. Oh yeah. On YouTube, and then they, they, they look a bit pathetic. They do make a squeaky noise. But yeah, that's why I'm going for that sort of squeak. Unlike the humble grizzly bear. I think that, yeah, I think the judge that put these together is trying to trick us, so I thought I'll go for something quite big. So, who is closer? That's a tough one. Is it a well, my Whoa! Answer, I, think, I think that is definitely a zero point round. Okay. How did someone get that close to it to capture that sound and didn't interrupt them? You know what I mean? How did they do that? What's the scores on the doors? 1-1. One, one. Okay, here we go. So, the last one. Oh, that's painful. Surely this is not in the actor. No. Are they both... Are both critters trying to do it to each other? Is that all coming from the same animal? Why would any female find that an attractive trait? Is that a yeah, zoo? Yeah, I think it's a zoo. Yeah. So, it sounds very zoo-like as well. Mm. Um, I don't think it's very large. Do you Whatever think is. this is marsupial? No. Um, oh, right. okay. I, I'm not going for a more secret You're not? No. Now, I think I've got what I'm going to go for. Um, are, are you any closer to your final? Yeah, I've got it. Uh, if you're going for what I think you're going for in that vein, I think it's going to be very difficult, again, if neither of us get it, for Jeff to pick the closest. So we're Huey, Dewey and Louie. We are Huey, Dewey and Louie. Okay. Huey, Dewey, Louie, Baboon! I went Baboon again. <laughs> well... Try twice. <laughs> it wasn't right the first time. Once bitten, twice shy. But neither of us got that bang on, did we? No, so we have got a tie situation. And when we find out what the actual animal is, all you need to do in the comments is go, is it closer to a gibbon or a baboon? What is it, Jeff? That was a lemur. Oh. Gibbons live in the trees, baboons are on land a lot. Of the but time. the baboon's got the extra hair. Got a feeling I've got this. Hmm. On screen now, we're going to show you a lemur in the middle, a baboon one side, and a gibbon the other side. And you can see one looks way more like it than the other. <laughs> but I've had great fun doing it. I've, I've been miserable all the way through. <laughs> Blatantly, like, this is a challenge that only you could do. Well, and not me. It well, was <laughs> a one sided affair. Well, next, next time, we'll do one that Let's heavily favours you. Let's do something I'm good at. Yeah. So thanks for tuning in today. It's been a informative episode of Fresh Happenings. If not really painful on the ears. For sure, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, <laughs> you can like, share and subscribe and you know, leave some comments for us. Your feedback means everything to well, us. You need to, that is what it's all about. You need to pick a winner as well. That's really important. At the minute, we're going into the ether tide, which is never, never a good vibe. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.